welcome my name is Ardi and we are going to solve this problem so the question is use superposition to find Vx in this circuit here okay we are asked to use superposition however we have some problem here that we have a dependent sources here a current source that is dependent to this Vx here so we need to do some modification in the first step right the first step is split the circuit into some okay and the problem is we have this dependent sources usually for current source we replace it with open circuit and then for voltage source we replace it with circuit okay but then for dependent source you should leave it okay so if we have dependent which is usually for in a square here not in circles so you have dependent source okay we need to leave it Okay, so we need to first split the circuit. I want to turn off this 5 ampere current source first. So we will have uh, this 25 volt voltage source still intact here. Let's draw that. So we will have 25 volt. And then we also have this 20 ohm. Okay, 20 ohm. And remember that we replace the current source with open circuit here. So we just have Vx here. And then we will have this 4 ohm. Okay, we will have this 4 ohm resistor here. And the bottommost node here is our ground. But then we still have that dependent current source so we will have this one here which is the value is 0 0.1 vx okay because this vx is different from this one let's name this vx prime and this one vx prime okay this is the first one when we turn off this 5 ampere current source okay now it's time to turn off this 25 volt voltage source okay we replace the voltage source by short circuit okay this one will be short circuit like this and then we also have that 20 ohm resistor and then we will have this vx here so we'll have vx and then we still have this 5 ampere current source right because we did not turn off this one but this one so we'll have 5 ampere here and then the bottommost node is our ground and then we also have this 4 ohm resistor okay we'll have 4 ohm resistor and then we still have that dependent current source like this and the value of this one will be 0 0.1 vx but then this vx is different from this one and also different from this one so we will have vx double prime and this one also vx double prime okay we need to find out vx prime and vx double prime by analyzing this circuit okay let's do exactly that okay now the next step is doing circuit analysis to both of the circuit okay so now let's assume the direction of the current here let's assume this is going here and this is going here and this is going here and this is 25 volt from the ground okay what can we do is we just do kcl at vx prime okay kcl said that the sum of the current that goes in 
will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. The only current that goes in is this one. Oh no, this one also goes in. So we will have, let's do 25 minus Vx prime divided by the resistance between them, which is 20. And then plus, we will have 0.1 Vx, or I can rewrite it, right? Because this one will be Vx prime over 10. So we'll have Vx prime over 10. And then that will equal to this one here is Vx prime minus 0, which is Vx prime divided by 4. Okay, multiply both sides by 20. So we will have 25 minus Vx prime and then plus 2 Vx prime and then that will equal to what is it 5 Vx prime good now we will have minus no 1 Vx here but then move it to the right hand side so I will have 25 is equal to 4 Vx prime right and so we will have Vx prime is equal to 6.25 volt. Okay, and I think nothing more that we can do here. Let's save this. This is an important value for measure. Okay, let's do another KCL, but this time at this circuit here. Okay, let's assume the direction of the current. Maybe let's assume this is going there, this is going there, this is going there, and this is going there. And the value of this resistor is 20 ohm, right? Okay, let's do another KCL, but this time at node Vx double prime. So we need to do KCL at Vx double prime. And KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in is equal to the sum of the current that goes out right we have this current that goes in we will have 5 ampere there and then here we also have Vx double prime over 10 so Vx double prime over 10 and that will equal to this current that is going out we will have Vx double prime over 20 and then plus this one here Vx double prime over 4 Again, we can multiply both sides here by 20. So we will have 100 and then plus 2Vx double prime. And then that will equal to 20 and 20 will cancel each other. So we'll have Vx double prime and then plus this one will be 5Vx double prime. That's good. On the left hand side, we will have 100. And then on the right hand side, I will have 6 minus 2. So we'll have 4 Vx double prime. So we will have 25 is equal to Vx double prime. Or Vx double prime is equal to 25 volt. Okay, this is also the second most important value here. Because we have Vx prime and Vx double prime. Okay, let's see the original circuit here. Okay, remember that we have Vx here. Vx prime is equal to 6.25 volt. And then Vx double prime is equal to 25 volt. Right? And we have done the second one, which is do circuit analysis for each. Do each circuit analysis. And we already did that, right? And then the third one is add them up. Add them Okay, because we are asked to find out Vx, which is this one, and that is just the sum of Vx prime and then Vx double prime. So, we will have our Vx, okay, Vx is equal to Vx prime plus Vx double prime. And that will equal to 6.25 plus 25 
which is equal to 31.25 volt. And that is the final answer for this, web, this question. Hopefully, I did not make any mistakes in my calculation. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.